Hello, this is Brony Muro Dilsia from CBF Bro Time. I'm back with more mathematics help. Last time I checked, we did uh, some, what's it called, uh, exponents and expanded form and scientific notation. Today we're going to be looking at factorization. Factors are the two numbers you multiply to get a number, so like 25 has factors of 5 and 5. Well, that's actually a square. Don't want to do that, but let's take 42. That has a lot of factors. No, 48 has a lot of factors. Sorry, this video is kind of blurry. So 48, how many factors does that have? Well, 48 times 1. So that's 1, 48. Then, let's see. 24 times 2, and then what times? There's 12 times 4, 6 times 8, and then that's essentially the factors of 48. I chose 48 because there are a lot of factors of 48. So, prime factorization is what we'll be looking at here. So we'll take a number, like, could be any number, 173 for, say, wait, no, that's, is that prime? I think it is prime. 175. So just divide it into two factors. Uh, five, and how many times does five go into it? Five goes into a hundred seventy-five. Uh, this you know that's at least thirty-four, thirty-five times I think. So five is prime. Five and seven, five and seven are also prime. So since it'd be five times five, you instead of doing five times five times 7 equals 175, which would be the way you write it out. It would actually be 5 squared times 7 equals 175. Prime factorization is very basic, but it's an important skill to know. So let's do 3, 7, 4. Divide that by 2. You'd get 1... 87 and 2 is 187 prime. I'm not actually sure. I have to think about that for a minute. Let's see. Well, I think 187 might be prime. So 180. 7 times 2 equals 374. It's probably too simple of an example. And so that's an important skill to learn. And it's really basic. Just take any number and then put it down into two factors and circle the prime factors. And then the ones that aren't prime, just keep branching down until there's no more left. And thank you and goodbye.